Hi everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. Hey, I'm Ellen if you're new here and I am about to pop out and do some charity shop shopping. I have not been charity shop shopping in ages but there's quite a few like little bits and bobs I want to get um, for our new flat so um, if you're new here I'm Ellen, I currently live in South West London um, and I am buying my first flat also in South West London um, over the next few months hopefully there's we're still in the process obviously obviously anything can happen but I very much have started buying stuff for it because we're definitely gonna be buying this year whether it's this place I hope it doesn't fall through for any reason you never know what's gonna happen but or not so I have have bought quite a lot of new and we're gonna be buying quite a lot of new for this place. But I, I don't wanna buy everything new and we've got a lot of stuff already um, where we've been renting for a few years. So, um, but there are little bits and bobs that I wanna thrift. I really want this house to be like cozy, cute, kitsch. And I feel like the best kind of kitsch stuff you can get is always from the charity shops. So I'm gonna go look at homeware in the charity shops. Come with me. I'm just going to like the Putney South West London one. So let's go do it. So the first charity shop I went to was closed until the new year. I don't know what I was expecting doing this. Uh, in what were they calling it now? Twix, Twixmas, Twixmas. Um, the time between Christmas and New Year. Time between Christmas and New Year. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so that was a fail. So on to the next. That one was the one with the best homeware normally, though. We've got one other that has good homeware, but we're going to try them all anyway. Normally has the good homeware as well, so. There were some cute bits, but I think I'm just so particular in what I want for a flat that like nothing was right. Nothing was like like bringing me like the most joy. So I didn't get anything, but I did go to Sainsbury's and they held their Christmas stuff on sale. So got some Christmas bits and um, like Christmas food bits. And I think I'm gonna try again tomorrow. Maybe go to either Hallis or Fulham. Do a
so it's i don't know if i want to wear the hat i feel like the red lipstick and the hat are just like whoa too much yeah now we're gonna lose the hat um it's just because i didn't like how my hair looked but i'm thinking it's sunny out so if i put sunglasses in it then that'll be okay oh yeah that's better for like myself more myself in that um not that i don't in the ganny hat i i love the ganny hat but with the red lips and the ganny hat I don't like that. It's, it's too much, too much for me. Um, yeah, so it is day two of trying the charity shots for homeware. Um, we are going to Richmond today, not to go to the charity shops, but I thought I'd take you along with me anyway, just in case we end up going to any charity shops. But last night I did a big kind of trawl through eBay and I found some good bits. So I think the route I'm going to go down for homeware is probably gonna be ebay i feel like the reason i'm struggling so much with thrifting specifically in the charity shops at the moment is because i'm so particular about what i want and what brands i want and if i find something i like in the charity shop but it's not exactly what i want i don't want it and i feel like yeah just like in not in my old age in like my taste has just developed and it is just, it's, I'm very particular now, so I like searched the brands I actually wanted on eBay and it figured me a little, like I haven't really used eBay much, it took me a little bit to figure out like what, how to bid, um, how to find auctions rather than new stuff, so it took me a second, but I found some good bits, so I might take you through that, I, I will take you through that later. Um, with what I found and stuff um and yeah we just had a bit of a lazy morning done some cleaning um had a nice breakfast and now we're gonna head out for our walk and some lunch I'm actually very hungry so some lunch is a definite must as well but I'll take you along anyway and we'll chat about eBay when I get back yeah I think it's down this is adorable what have you ever been down here Oh really? Yeah. It's the cutest little alley. So cute down here. It was so good and this street is so cute. So cute. Apparently it's something to do with Ted Lasso. I don't know if we said that at the beginning of the video, but there was lots of Americans in there uh, getting the chocolates. It's a really, really sweet street. Yeah, this place I keep looking at is meant to be really nice for a massage. Oops, yeah. Hi guys. So just got home from Richmond. We didn't end up going to the charity shops, but I thought what I'd do is I would show you all the bits I it wasn't a crazy amount, but like all the bits I saw on eBay and um why I've kind of opted for shopping there instead of trying the charity shops again, I guess. And I kind of wanted to chat a bit as well. I was thinking about it on the way um oh brilliant all my videos have uploaded all the ones i was working on um i think about it on the way and on the way on when i was walking around richmond and like for me i've always 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 not always recently been speaking a lot about how i have started shopping sorry i bought this water bottle um it's called they're called bottle up water and it obviously i picked it up because it was this gorgeous pink color it's so pretty um but it's a like reusable bottle so it's zero percent bpa um which means you can actually reuse it um it's like all like low impact and stuff um i thought it was pretty so i bought it um but i hadn't drunk from it yet anyway that was not what we we're talking about here um basically i was thinking about for the sort of past, I'd say maybe like five, six months, I've stopped shopping in charity shops as much and I've definitely shopped a lot more on Vinted, um, if I'm shopping at all. Um, I always opt for Vinted and I was thinking about the way that like online thrift shops like Vinted, eBay, Thriftify, how the popularization of those ways of thrifting and buying secondhand I feel like I've started to have a real impact on the charity shops. Um, I, for one, do not donate as much to the charity shops as I used to because I definitely opt for selling it on Vinted and making a little bit of money out of it, over donating it to the charity shops. Um, 
I try and make an effort to, if I'm having a clear out, at least donate some to the charity shops and then have some I sell on Vinted. But I would say the bulk of my stuff goes on Vinted. So it means that the stock that's in the charity shops, and I feel like a lot of people are doing this. I know colloquially, colloquially, anecdotally is the word I'm looking for. A lot of my friends now opt for selling on Vinted over paying things. Uh, giving things to the charity shop. So I do think the stock in the charity shops has changed quite dramatically since the rise in like online, what is that? Oh, it's my hangers. And since the rise in like online thrifting. So it's just kind of like something interesting I thought about, like has the rise in online thrifting had a big impact on the charity shops um and i do think like i said in the middle of this video um my taste has just changed it i'm a little bit more particular now so when i want something i like look at the brand and that sort of thing so i think that's part of it as well like i really like i know what i want and it's usually like down to the very specifics of like a brand and a color and all that sort of thing um so i oh excuse me sorry i feel like i always I talk so much in my videos obviously because they're a talking video and then I'm like I need to catch my breath again um but I I have not been an eBay shopper um at all really I've never really been that big into eBay but I thought it would be quite interesting to um show you what I found on eBay yesterday I was just doing a little peruse um because there was quite specific things I wanted and like they're they're like not super high price points but like high enough that like I'm like I want to find, if I can, like an alternative way of getting them. So I still have the thing I want, but don't have to pay as much for it. So I thought, where do most people do that? eBay. So um, yeah, I'll show you the few things I found. So I'm just gonna start a screen recording, just um, pop it like either down here or pop myself down here so you can actually see what we are looking at. So there we go, recording. So the first thing I wanted was, I really wanted the new Sofia Coppola um, book. It's called Archive, and it's basically a collection of photographs and like behind the scenes from all the movies she's directed. Um, and I wanted this as like a coffee table book for, um, for our new place. So I was thinking like having like the book and then like maybe like um, a little diptyque rose candle on top of it. Like I've got a very particular aesthetic and I wanted this book for that and also I want to read it as well. Um, but the book I think is between like, I found it between like 50 to 100 pounds in various places. And I found this one on eBay, um, 35 pounds and that's me being the highest bidder. Yeah, I'm the highest bidder on that at the moment. Um, so, oh, and they're located in London. So only two pound 82 on postage. Um, and Okay, so Monday at seven, I find out to have won. I think I've actually gone up to 40 quid on my bid for this. So I'm hoping I get it. Um, but it's, so it's not brand, I don't need my book to be brand new. I don't need this to be a brand new book. Um, so I'm really happy with that. And then I really wanted a La Creuset, um salt pig. So um, there were quite a lot of them and they don't actually make the milky pink one anymore, but I found somebody selling it on eBay um, or uh, available to bid on on eBay so I found it looks like it's in pretty good condition as well um so I found this little one it's the pink and I really really want this so I think I've bid 20 pounds on this it's like, I think about 35 to 40 pounds um what am I looking for so what I'm looking for full price like in the stock but they don't make the um I've got a little mark there that's fine they don't make the the milky pink one or at least like, unless it's just sold out, I can't find it on the La Crusade website. So I'm the highest bidder on this, but it does end in like three days. So there's time for me to be beaten, but I've obviously put like a bid so that I will keep outbidding people, hopefully, if they come and try and buy it. Um, but there were loads of like, um, uh, is it this one? Yeah, there were like quite a few. And I realised you can up here change it somewhere. Oh yeah, change it all to be just auction. So... Sorry, eBay does have a lot of like um buy it, like buy it now, like brand new stuff. Um, which is not what I wanted to look at because I don't think like that's where the best but oh my god, that little calf kids one is so cute. Um I just don't think that's where the best bargains are. I actually want to look at calf kids and homeware. Um so I um they do, do homeware, don't they? Um I 
want to put it on auction so I can like look through and like actually find like the bargains rather than um looking through people's like buy it now section um oh yeah they do really cute mugs and stuff oh cute a lot of bags though I don't really want a bag working for the house um but like I I wanted to see as well like the vintage furniture on here I assume it's really good but like well I don't want to see I had a little look uh, last night and I not a proper look but just a little one and I found that like um a lot of it was let's just stop screen recording we probably don't need this anymore um a lot of it was like collection only so I would probably opt for Facebook marketplace over eBay just because it's so easy to see like stuff in your area um through Facebook marketplace so I just would find that it's just find that easier to use in general um we are pretty like good on home where it's more like the knickknack side of things I'm working on getting at the, like pulling together at the moment um so yeah I thought that was kind of just like an interesting little like end to this video like looking at what was in the charity shops versus actually finding the specific thing I wanted on eBay obviously if you don't know what you're looking for the charity shops are a great option but when you're kind of looking for specific stuff going into the charity shops just doesn't like for me it like I find it really hard to like figure out um whether I want something because I want to buy something or I want something because I genuinely want it like it's not actually on my list it's been I've thought of it nowhere in my life before I've but like they are the IR also a great option for if you like don't really know what you're looking for so yeah that is my little overview of um the charity shops versus the online like ebay world um and like looking at homeware um i'm probably going to do a bit of a secondhand haul because i've bought a couple of things on vintage and fingers crossed i get those two things and maybe have a little bit look for a little bit of a look for some others so coming soon will definitely be a bit of a, a online secondhand an online thrifting haul so um subscribe if you like to stay updated for that and i'm uploading three times a week um hopefully throughout this year so just hang around and you'll get to see loads of me <laughs> lucky you guys um so yeah i'll catch you soon bye guys